What is up, guys? It's Bad Dog. So, you know, I read an article today that kind of ticked me off a little bit about my boy Kyler Murray. And, you know, I just kind of want to do this video uh, about Kyler Murray. And everybody that watches my videos and is subscribed to me knows that's my guy. And uh, I think very highly of him. I think he's a great quarterback. But, you know, there's just some guys that just absolutely have to hate on him no matter what. And they're, they're just looking for a reason to bash this kid. You know, first it was, oh, he's only 5'7", he's 5'8", you know, he, he ain't 5'10", and he measures himself and he's 5'10 and an eight. You know, so obviously uh, that proved everybody there wrong. And they say, oh, you know, his hands are too small. You know, they're going to knock the ball out of there. He ain't got... Turns out his hands are... Pretty good size, bigger than Drew Locke, pretty much the same size as Dwayne Haskins' hands. You know, it's it's all this hate about Kyler Murray. Oh, he's not participating in the combine. They're just looking for a reason to hate on him. And I just want to give a shout-out to Pigskin Pete because Pigskin Pete actually did a video like this, and I was going to do it. But I watched his video, and he, he's a Clemson fan. And he saw the same things that I see. You know, it's just amazing. Then you have guys that say, oh, he's just a running quarterback. He's not a pocket passer. He's a runner. He, he's not a pocket passer. And the people that say Kyler Murray's not a pocket passer, you might as well be the same people that think Dwayne Haskins is a running quarterback, like Stephen A. Smith, because if you think Kyler Murray's not a pocket passer, you don't watch college football. Just like Stephen A. Smith doesn't watch college football thinking that Dwayne Haskins was a runner. If you don't think Kyler, if you think Kyler Murray's a running quarterback and not a pocket passer, it's obvious you don't watch Sooner football because you ask any Oklahoma Sooner fan, and they're going to tell you Kyler Murray is a pocket passer that goes through progressions but can make plays with his feet. There's a big difference between a running quarterback and a quarterback that can run. There's a big, big difference. So I read this article about from Charlie Casserly. I mean, who the hell is Charlie Casserly anyway? This guy comes out and says, oh, that was the worst interview I've ever seen. It, horrible. Everything about it's horrible. His blackboard work is terrible. He's got no work ethic. He's not a leader. Who the hell are you? And where the hell do you get this from? From a 15-minute interview? He says Kyler Murray was interviewed by 10 teams, and more than two of them weren't interested. What the hell is more than two? Why are you being so vague, Charlie? Is it more? Is it three? Is it six? Is it nine? Make up your, I mean, why can't you say how many teams it is? You're not naming the teams, so why can't you give us an exact number of teams that aren't interested in them? I can't give any quotes. I can't quote him. I can't quote what he said. Well, then don't sit there and say that he said anything. Or don't talk about how bad he is or how bad his interview was if you can't quote anything from it. And I also find it amusing that you're going to get all of this negative all these negative aspects from a 15-minute interview. Saying he's not a leader was the biggest joke I've ever heard in my life. Because Kyler Murray as a kid, no doubt his entire life, has heard, you can't do it, Kyler. You can't do it. You'll never make it. You're too small. You're too small. You can't do it. You're too small. You'll never play in college football. You'll never play in the NFL. You're too small. I'm sure he's heard it his whole life. So here and now is, is no different. All this kid did was go out, Play his entire high school career, never lost a game. This is a kid that that played one year at Oklahoma underneath Baker Mayfield, sat behind Baker Mayfield, came in, outperformed Baker Mayfield this year, went on to lead his team to the conference championship, to the Big 12 championship with half of a team because everybody knows Oklahoma's got no defense. This kid led his team to a conference championship and into the playoff against Alabama. In the one game, that they lost in the regular season was to Texas, and they were down by 21 points with eight minutes to go in that game, and Kyler Murray single-handedly brought them back to tie it up. Leaders do that type of thing. Guys that aren't leaders don't go undefeated in high school. Guys that aren't leaders don't win Big 12 championships. Guys that aren't leaders don't win Heisman trophies with half of a team. Oklahoma did what they did last year because of Kyler Murray. With no help from the defense. So who the hell are you to sit here and say, Oh, well, that was the worst I've ever seen. And he's got no work ethic and he's not a leader. Well, all I have to do is watch what he does in the field to know you are wrong. And another thing, did you ever think 
that teams that are saying this about Kyler Murray, about how bad his interview was and how they're not interested and they turn it off. Do you ever think that's a little gamesmanship between teams? Did you ever think a team, say, like the New York Giants, for example, would come out and say, and I'm not saying that he's going to the Giants, but would you ever think, and I'm not saying that the Giants said this, but would you ever think the Giants might say, oh, we were really turned off by Kyler Murray's personality. We don't think he can do it. We think he's got a bad work ethic. We think that he did really bad in the interview. So that other teams in front of them may second guess themselves and go, well, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe he really can't do it. Maybe he can't lead. So that he his, his draft stock falls and they're able to scoop him up. You don't think a team like the Dolphins at 13 might go out there and say, well, he was terrible. We hated what he did. We have no interest in Kyler Murray. Not We don't want him. So that the Cardinals and the Giants and whoever else say, you know what, maybe they're right. Maybe we should pass on Kyler Murray so they can get him at 13. It's gamesmanship. There's a lot of teams that lie about this crap. You know, so Charlie Casserly, shut your damn mouth. Because who the hell are you? What NFL team do you work for? You don't work for any NFL team. You're, you're a freaking NFL analyst. And I'm going to tell you right now, I would rather watch so many YouTube video makers and their analysis of their teams over these freaking people on ESPN and NFL Network who I swear to God know less than the video makers I watch. Now put that in your pipe and smoke it. Get off my boy, Kyler Murray. It's Bad Dog, and I'm out of here. Peace!